decided today to take my geode silicone molds and make like an oceanic tray and coaster set i went ahead and set up so what i have is a plastic cover to protect my table i have my acrylic paint and makeup pigments that i will be using as well as a torch gun and my alcohol in the spray bottle i also have one cup for each color with the popsicle stick and i went ahead and measured part a and part b i added 100 milligrams to each and i stirred the part a for two minutes part b for a minute I would then combine it into this cup and maybe stir for another minute and a half. I also have my silicone mat so I can place my cups here when I'm done and my roll of paper towels to clean up as I go. And I like to keep an old rag just to clean my gloves out. Um, if not, you'll continue using more gloves and I like to save my gloves. So it works pretty fine. Add some alcohol into your hand and just clean it with the rag. And so now what I'm going to do is combine part A and part B and stir for like about a minute and a half. for about a minute and a half and now what i'm going to do is add the resin into these three cups and add my color to it for some colors you don't need as much resin so i'm going to start off with the blue and i know that i'm going to use the blue a lot so i'm going to add a little bit more to the blue And the gold, I'm not going to use as much, so I'm probably going to put a quarter of what I put for the blue. Yeah, just there. And for the teal color, I'm going to put a little bit more than that. And what I like to do is always keep a little of the clear resin to the side just in case I need to add for more color. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gradually going to add the color in and if I want it darker I will add more to it. So it's always good to just start off with a little dab. So this is for the blue. I'm going for like a dark tone, so I might add a little bit more. You see that blue? It's a beautiful blue, but I want mine just a tad bit darker. Okay. And now I'm gonna stir it a little bit more. And now let's just say you add a little bit too much, then all you have to do is just add some clear resin to it to dilute it and start off again. Okay, now I'm going to add, now you're gonna see the difference with the makeup powder and the acrylic. You're gonna see how this is more shimmery and shiny, kind of pearlish. So with this, you want to add just a bit, but because it's already a light tone, sometimes you might add a little bit more. And I kind of want it to be on the darker side. This is a beautiful gold. The micro powder that I'm using is a sunshine gold. Look at that. So pretty and it's really gonna stand out against that blue and now this is like a teal blue so I'm gonna add just a tad bit okay let's start off with that first oh look how beautiful 
It's more like a little tur turquoise teal. Yeah, I like teal. That's beautiful. I'm actually gonna need more. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that clear resin to it. And a little bit more to this blue. I'm sorry, my arm is in the way. And just stir it a little bit more. I might just add a little bit more of the blue acrylic paint. <laughs> for about 10 minutes and now I'm gonna pass the heat gun and try to give it a little design. <laughs> resin to the mold and I added my blue the teal and the gold I passed the heat gun and then added a layer of the clear resin on top of it to give it more of a dimension look and passed the heat gun again I got rid of all the bubbles I had to make a little bit more of the resin to fill up the mold and to do the rest of these coasters so now I'm going to apply the rest of the resin and start off with the coasters continue adding the blue the teal and the gold resin and added layers as well as the clear resin to give it that dimension and also pass the heat gun and torch gun and what I'm going to do now is wait another 15 minutes and pass the torch gun one more time to pop all the little bubbles that form up and after that you just wait 12 to 24 hours after 12 hours you can check to see if it's hard Nine out of ten times, it's probably not going to be, and to be on the safe side, I'll probably wait at least 16 hours before removing, because what happens is if you remove it too soon, your tray can actually start folding. So you want to keep it in there as long as you can, and your temperature in your house should be around 70 to 80 degree, and your resin will cure really good. So now I'm going to go ahead and make the coasters. <laughs> the video and please make sure you hit the thumbs up comment and subscribe thank you for watching